How's it going here? Welcome back to the channel. And for you OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro owners rejoice, these guys have parted and OnePlus has bestowed upon you the Android 12 update with Oxygen OS 12. And so as you can see here, this update has been rolling out globally, I believe. I got mine last night. You can see the version number right there. This is the unlocked US model on my 9 Pro. And you can see all the different change log features here that they've added on top of standard Android 12 features. And as you can see, it's a very large update on my 9 Pro, 4.3 gigabytes. So huge update on the 9 Pro. It was a lot smaller on my OnePlus 9 for whatever reason, but I kept this one on Android 11. So you can kind of see the differences on how Android 12 looks like versus Android 11 on Oxygen OS. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Let's go ahead and unlock the OnePlus 9. I've got the standard, my custom icon packs here on each, so they kind of look the same. If you go into the quick toggles menu, you can kind of see they both pretty much look similar, but if you go into the settings, they made some changes here. They've pulled out some things from the sub menus, so a little bit of a different arrangement on the settings. But if you go into about here, you can kind of see here, Android 11 on the OnePlus 9, Android 12, November security update here on the 9 Pro. And so the about screens look a little bit different as you can see here as well. I kind of like what it looks like here on Android 11, but that's just kind of nitpicking there. And if we go back to the home screen and we can take a look at what the customization and personalization options we have here for the home screen. But as far as the home screen, if you remember with Android 12, they have Material U design here. And so this is the Pixel 6 Pro and Material U basically with, as far as UI is concerned, they'll kind of customize the icon um, as, as well as the widget colors to the wallpaper uh, color scheme. So that's part of the whole material you design there as far as look and feel for the UI. Um, looks like OnePlus didn't really adopt that here in Android 12 on Oxygen OS. If you go into the customization options here, you can see here as far as the other standard layouts, widgets, icons, if you go to wallpapers, there's none of that kind of picking a color scheme to match the uh, wallpaper that you have and you can't match the icons. So if you go back into here, the icons, there's this, this typical styles that you have that you can pick from that you always had in Oxygen OS. I've got my custom icon pack there, like I said, but you can't pick the kind of standard, you know, match icons to your kind of wallpaper style that Material U has. As far as what I can see, if I'm missing something, uh, people can kind of let me know, but in Material U, it's not there. We can go into these icon colors. You can see here, nothing here. This is just standard kind of shapes, corners, uh, things like that, but not any kind of color scheme as far as I can see. So it doesn't look like they've adopted that necessarily there. But let's go ahead and see what you can do with the wallpapers. I don't know if this is new for Oxygen OS, but what I did was basically I created my own wallpaper. I picked an image and it kind of created this custom wallpaper based off of that image's color schemes. So that's a little bit of customization that I did here uh, with that. But other than that, no real material you kind of color scheme design for matching icons and widgets as far as what I can see. And so the other thing that's new here is the shelf. So if you if you like the OnePlus shelf, you know, it, in older versions, it used to be a swipe to from the left, but it became the Google feed in most recent versions. But if you like shelf, you want to be able to access that from anywhere. They now have it from a swipe from the right hand corner. That's where you can access your OnePlus shelf. If you like this feature here, if you don't like it, you can just go into the settings and just turn it off so you don't have to ever see it again. But if you like shelf, you can always access it from a pull down from the upper right. So that's a little bit new here as well. And then the other thing that they've done here is dark mode. So let's go ahead and go into the typical settings here and let's go into display and brightness and let's turn on dark mode here. Now there's new dark mode settings. So if we look here on the older version, if we just go into here and we go into display and let's go ahead and try to turn on dark mode. So it's down here and let's enable that. So you only had one kind of version of dark mode, it turned everything obviously dark and pretty much black. But here you have dark mode settings and now you have three different levels of essentially dark, I guess. So enhanced, which is kind of this darker mode, medium and gentle. So kind of gray to this pitch black dark. So that's a new dark mode setting that they add, variable dark mode. So you can choose from a little bit more lighter dark mode to just the standard black. Uh, so that's some of the dark mode setting changes that they have here. Other things that they've also changed here in Oxygen OS 12 on Android 12 is they've added a few things here as far as, you know, focus modes. So you can see here you have quick toggles to get to work mode versus life mode. So this is nothing more than basically focus modes that you have on some other devices. So you can actually go in as an example. You can see here it says be relaxed at home, only receive notifications from desired social media and entertainment apps. So this is basically customizing what notifications get through and either of your personal mode or your work mode here. So you can do that there. And this is kind of what the uh, work mode looks like if you can get to it here. 
uh, work mode. If we want to press that, you can see you can set that up. So be focused at work, control what gets through when you have work mode set up. So just a different way as far as focusing and do not disturb, but instead of disabling everything, you can choose what gets through in each life, which is your personal or your work modes. So again, basic focus modes that they've added there. They've also added a bit of gallery enhancement is what they're saying, but it's not called gallery anymore. They renamed the gallery app into photos. So if we go into here, it's now called photos. And basically what they're saying is if you pinch, now you can get, to, you know, it'll just resize the kind of icons. So it's a lot of kind of pinching and zooming a little bit. So, you know, that's basically what they've done. I haven't really dove into uh, the app to see how much more things they've changed there, but you can see, so basic minor tweaks to the gallery app. And another thing they've kind of tweaked here is the canvas feature for your always on display. So if you go into personalizations and canvas, you can go ahead and pick an image like you always could. So let's go ahead and pick this one and say generate. And it's gonna generate your canvas look. And let's go ahead and pull that up here on Android 11 on the OnePlus 9, so customization canvas. Let's go ahead and pull up the same photo here. And let's go ahead and preview. And this will generate the same kind of canvas look here on Android 11 on the OnePlus 9. So you can see their canvas here on the OnePlus 9 Android 11. You can see that that's what the image generated. Same image here on the 9 Pro with Android 12, but now you have more options. So instead of the standard look here, you can pick from a few different customization options there, as well as kind of tweak it any way you kind of want with different colors, all that kind of stuff. Um, so a little bit more customization here to Canvas uh, versus what you got here on Android 11 with that same feature. So those are all the basic changes that they made as far as features and their change logs. So we went through dark mode, uh, some of the shelf changes, work-life balance, the focus modes there, gallery, which is now called photos. We went through the canvas, always on display changes. So those are all the major things they called out in the change log. Supposedly they also made some changes to their OnePlus Scout search. So their universal search where you can search for anything on the web or on your phone, single search for all that stuff. They supposedly make some tweaks to OnePlus Scout, that search there. Also supposedly made some tweaks to support some additional things on the OnePlus Watch in Oxygen OS, as well as some additional things that support the game mode here in Oxygen OS. But uh, those are all the major things that they call out. I think they also did some things around privacy. Uh, so let's actually go ahead and take a look at private safe. They've kind of, I guess, added that. So if we go into privacy here, you can see some of the things here. Actually, let's look at what it looks like here on Android 11 as well. So let's go into settings. Let's go into privacy down here. You can see here you got the privacy dashboard, which has been added as far as Android 12. So if we actually brought back the pixel, we can look at that here. Let's go ahead and privacy here on the Pixel 6. So standard Android 12 here, you can see privacy dashboard, stock. It's a basic standard Android 12 feature that they've added here. But they've also added this private safe. So uh, just another place where you can actually securely store files and stuff away from people, I guess it's password protected and stuff. So private safe, that's I guess added feature here now on Oxygen OS 12. And so I guess those are the major changes that they've actually called out, but let's go ahead and take a look at the camera because I'm a big camera guy. If we launch the camera app, you'll notice here it's a little bit different. So if you look at the camera app on Oxygen OS Android 11, you can see it's different. You kind of have the ability to flip up here and get to all the modes. You can't do that anymore. Everything is just splayed out through swiping. So no more of that kind of flick up to get to the menu here. I like this better. It's a little bit more convenient than having to swipe through everything. You just swipe up once and get and pick and choose whatever mode you want. I don't see a setting where I can get that back here. Um, and you can see it's much more in line with Color OS camera app. So let's go ahead and bring in um, the Oppo Find X2 Pro. So this is still running Color OS uh, Android 11, so Color OS 11. But if we launch the camera app here, you can see here it looks a lot more like what the Find X2 Pro here. Uh, as far as what uh, OnePlus has done now, so camera apps look a lot the same. It's a, a, also a swiping kind of based. Uh, camera UI, no longer the swipe up like you had on, on Oxygen 11. And then you still have, if you go to photo, you can see here, even the settings at the top are pretty much the same. HDR, you have this AI enhanced mode there that pretty much looks the same when you turn it on. Uh, if you go into settings here, you can see some of the similar camera settings as well. Uh, they have this AI ultra clear mode you can see there. That's also, I don't recall ever having that on OnePlus and that's a mode there you can see here in Color OS. So camera app, much more in line with Color OS here. But other than the UI changes here to be more in line with Color OS, they haven't caught out any specific camera performance improvements here on Android 12, on Oxygen OS 12. 
uh, but maybe I'll test it out but they haven't called out any kind of specific more enhancements as far as how cameras perform as far as quality but the UI clearly more in line with color OS now so those are all the kind of things that I've seen as far as based on their change log and just kind of poking around the UI a little bit and the apps as far as major changes that I've seen. If you've had any other changes that you've seen or running into any kind of issues as you've been using it, let me know, maybe I'll test it out. Any other things I should be checking out on uh, Oxygen OS 12 that I haven't showed you that you found, let me know. I'm always interested in checking out new things that maybe I had missed. But there you go, a quick rundown of Oxygen OS 12, Android 12 on the OnePlus 9 Pro compared to Android 11 running on my OnePlus 9. I'm going to update the OnePlus 9 to Android 12 right after this, so they're both on the latest and greatest. But let me know what you think of Android 12 on your OnePlus device if you've already got it. Any of the questions that I can help answer about this, let me know. I'll try to answer what I can. And as always, thanks for watching.